This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I am turning this little bit of nostalgia into a coffee table. This is my favorite type of glue to use. You know why. You know why. So if you don't know what this is, this is film. If you don't know what film is, go ask your grandparents. Oh my God. This is 110 format, and it was quite popular back in the 70s and 80s. In fact, this box says developed before May 1981. The Wrath of Khan hadn't even come out yet. I took quite a few photos with these little cartridges back in the day, so uh, this shape brings back Quite a few memories for me, and well, coupled with the fact that I need a coffee table, the project kind of designs itself. This thing here, this is, this is this little bit right in here. <laughs> Gotta turn the vacuum on first. I'm the reason they put those warning tags on hair dryers. I think I've mentioned this before, but one of the things I love about the X-Carve Pro is that, well, I don't have room for a full four by eight machine out here in the shop. This is four by four, which fits great. And if I need to cut anything longer than 48 inches, like, like this, I can use tiling, which if you're using the native easel software, it has that built in. I can just cut the first half, slide my material over, and then cut the other half. So basically that gives me 48 by infinity. By the way, I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but my dust collection is so much quieter on this thing now. Inventable sent me a dust deputy and a fine vacuum, which are both now included standard when you buy the x Pro. Link in the description. New Brad Naylor. 
prevent jams. Growing up, I was always taught to pump them up. Just make things. Stop trying to be funny. Not as funny as you think you are. Believe me, I do not think I am that funny. These jokes are not funny. But to me, that's what makes them really funny. <laughs> Table. Meet Brad. See what I mean? <laughs> Terrible. Bastard. I nailed my spacer piece to it. I deserve it. Brad. Ah. All right, this is the part that's been giving me all the anxiety. I've got to make the curved parts that go around the sides here, and I'm, I'm doing uh, curve bending. It's where you cut a whole bunch of notches in some wood and, and it'll bend. There's a website called blocklayer.com. It's got a lot of great tools on it. It's got a calculator on there for exactly this. It'll tell you based on your radius uh, how far apart your curves should be. And this is twice as many as it told me to cut and it's not quite bending the way I would like it to. So this is 3 eighths of an inch apart, which is doing better, uh, but I can still tell uh, it looks segmented along the top here when the light hits it. So I'm gonna say screw it. I'm gonna go half that, 3 sixteenths of an inch, and we'll see what happens. That is a lot of cutting, but uh, I, I just, I just want to feel something. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know if I can leave that joke in. All right, well, yeah, these are really close together, but I mean, what, your mileage is gonna vary. It's all gonna depend on your, the type of wood, the direction of the grain and the veneer, how thick the veneers are, the humidity probably, I don't know, but this, this feels pretty good. I'm still getting some resistance here, but it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack. This is gonna be a lot of cutting, but uh, I think this will work. So, quick question. Do you like to save 10% on things? Of course, everybody does. Do you need a website? Of course, everybody does. Whether you need a personal site or one for your business, Squarespace has got you covered. Squarespace is what I use, and I've got a discount for you. It's super easy to get started using any one of their numerous professionally designed templates, which can be customized to suit your specific needs. And with their Fluid Engine, designing a page layout is as easy as dragging content wherever you want it on the page. Text, images, forms, it's all just a couple clicks away. You can even set up an online store to sell your items directly from your own website, both physical products and digital downloads. Me, I sell merch, art, and downloadable project plans all through my Squarespace site. Go to squarespace.com now for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Wesley Treat for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. And if you don't like typing, that link is down in the video description. So I was about to start enclosing this thing, but I realized 
I've got to mount that cone that I made in here first. Otherwise, I won't be able to get to it. Uh, that's presumably a spool that the film winds up on. I don't know why it's cone shaped. Maybe someone in the comments can let us know. Now, believe it or not, this is like my gonk droid, which I worked on in the last video. You should go watch that after this. This is yet another abandoned project that I have resurrected. This one comes from 2019. And I actually got a fair amount of it done, including this bit right here, which goes opposite the cone. And uh, that's this guy right here. Now, I, I remade the cone just for you guys, but I, I think I'm gonna save myself some time and some nice solid birch and uh, just reuse this old one. Well, I didn't expect that to go as well as it did, but uh, well, now I got to do the top and hopefully that goes just as well because I didn't buy any extra wood. This is all I got. So I got one shot at this. All right, well, uh, that piece didn't go on quite as easily. I had to dry fit it like four or five times just to figure out how to clamp it up. And I, I still had to uh, trim the end of it one last time just to get it to fit. But it's actually starting to look like a film cartridge now. I just need to add a few more details. There's a couple of sort of ribs that go along the top. Uh, there's some little uh, detail pieces on the ends. And uh, there's an embossed piece that goes right here that says Kodak. So I've got to, I've got to engrave that.
the first time I tried building this, for these pieces, uh, I had some solid birch and was attempting steam bending. It, it went about as well as I expected, just not as well as I'd hoped. Oh. All right, back in it goes. This go around, I uh, just cut out some profiles out of plywood and picked myself up an extra wide roll of edge banding. I recreated the label from the top and had a local sign shop printed on some vinyl. And as for the frame advance window, uh, I just uh, printed this out on some yellow construction paper. If you haven't played with construction paper in a while, I recommend picking some up. And for the full experience, get some of those uh, little blunt scissors that don't cut for There's a piece of glass that goes here that I just haven't picked up yet. And I adhered the label to a piece of acrylic so that it's easily replaceable for when it inevitably gets, you know, coffee and bourbon rings on it. And I'm sure many of you have already spotted this, but, you know, for stashing your remotes and, well, you know what else. Now this one is going to end up in my apartment. Like I said, I do need a coffee table, but I think I'm gonna put a couple of extra coats of clear on this first to protect it from, from wear and stains because, well, I live alone and this is also going to be my dining table. 